the story of almost every place on this island is closely related to ancient Greek mythology, and sometimes you even lose control between the myth and reality. It is Crete that is the birthplace of Zeus, the most important among all the ancient Greek gods. In this video, we will tell you about the highlights of Crete Island, about our adventures during the vacation in Elunda Resort. We make a short review of the unique locations of this fabulous island. And also, tell you about the top most interesting little known facts about Crete. So, let's get started! How did we get to Crete? I work in a travel company and once got a great opportunity, a week vacation with my husband on Crete in Elunda Resort in the 5-star luxury hotel Elunda Beach Hotel and Villas and experienced the service of this incredible hotel. We haven't been to this region of Greece before, only to Athens and Mitera, and this fact added intrigue to the vacation. We flew to Crete on a charter flight to the main city of the island Heracleon in the last week of September, and the vacation was comfortable. It wasn't so hot as in summer, the water in the sea warmed up well, the tourist season was coming to the end, and there were few vacationers. We compared the ways of getting from the airport to the hotel by an individual transfer by taxi or by rental car, and it turned out that a rental car was the cheapest way even if we didn't travel around the island. We rented a car on the rental car service website. There were lots of different offers from different rental companies, depending on the rental price and preferences. This time we got a Mini Cooper, quite a compact car, which is very convenient for the mountain serpentine roads of Crete. By the way, the roads in Crete are free and have good coverage everywhere. Crete is located 100 km from the southern part of the Peloponnese, 175 km from the shores of Asia Minor and 300 km from Africa. It is the largest Greek island and also the fifth largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, after Sicily, Sardinia, Cyprus and Corsica. Crete is washed by the Cretan Sea in the north, the Libyan Sea in the south and the Ionian Sea in the west. The maximum length of Crete is 260 km, while the width of the islands ranges from 60 km. The administrative center is the Heraklion city. The population of the island is about 624,000 inhabitants. Crete is one of the 13 peripheries of Greece and one of the largest economic and cultural centers in the country. The tourist infrastructure of Crete is more developed than on other islands. Thanks to the warm sea, subtropical climate, a developed network of tourist centers and comfortable hotel complexes, Crete is considered one of the most popular European destinations. I remember my great interest in the mystical ancient Greek mythology since my school years, and once we got on this island, realized that we are at its origins, we wanted to plunge into this world of myths, the world of fascinating stories. How is Crete related to ancient Greek mythology? Walking through the small town of Agios Nikolaos, we came across a bouclea Greek mythology, which collected all the most famous stories about the ancient Greek gods and goddesses, about the adventures and great deeds of heroes. This book was for us a guide to that mysterious, mythological world. It pulled us more and more and led to the most interesting and magical places of the island, into the spirit of ancient Greek myth. Crete played a very important role in ancient Greek mythology. 
After all, it is Crete that is the birthplace of Zeus, the most important among all the ancient Greek gods. According to ancient Greek myth, Zeus was born exactly in the Dicte Cave, and it was here where he, in the form of a bull, brought the kidnapped Phoenician beauty Europe along the waves. Exactly from here, Icarus took off on wings, made of feathers and fastened with wax. When Icarus rose too high to the sun, the wax melted and Icarus fell into the sea. It was here where the brave Tithias killed the Minotaur, a bloodthirsty man bull, and the Minotaur's sister Ariadne, who was in love with Tithias, helped her brother's killer to get out of the labyrinth and to escape from the island thanks to her ball of threads. According to the myth, three sons were born from the marriage of Zeus to Europe. Minos reached the greatest honor and glory among the three brothers. He was just and wise king for the Crete, and its capital was Knossos. During the reign of Minos king, Crete became a wealthy state where culture and art reached high level, and the people lived in peace and justice. At that time began the famous Minoan civilization, when the highly developed palace of Knossos was built. Today, this palace is the landmark of the island. At the beginning, we were in the mood for a lazy vacation on the hotel's beach. But we can't stay at one place for a long time. We like to discover something new, beautiful, interesting. And there are so many such places in Crete. So, after a few days lying on the beach, we set out on an adventure to explore the island on our own. Moreover, we had a rental car. So, for the whole our vacation, we stayed in one hotel, in a Lunda resort, and had one-day trips to the most interesting places of Crete. And so, we figured out our top list of the most fascinating and beautiful locations of the island. And we started our exploration from the small resort village Alunda and built a video review of other interesting places considering the distance from this resort. Alunda is a small fishing village on the north coast of Crete, with a population of only about 2,200 inhabitants. The village is located 70 kilometers away from Heracleion. It is a part of the Ayas Nikolaos municipality. This resort is located opposite the small picturesque Mirabella Bay, and it is protected from sea winds and large waves by the curve of the peninsula. Earlier, practically on the place of today's Alunda, there was an ancient settlement of Olus, which was one of the 100 outstanding cities on Crete. There are many high-level hotels with very good infrastructure and their own luxurious beaches with an amazing view of the Mirabella Bay along the coastline of the Elunda Resort. There is also a small municipal beach in Elunda with sunbeds and umbrellas. The beach is clean with sand and pebbles at the bottom of the sea and with a moderate entrance. Famous politicians, music and film stars, Arab sheikhs like to have a rest in Alunda. The 
There are lots of taverns in the center of Alunda village, great cafe restaurants at any taste and budget, souvenir stores and supermarkets. To have breakfast in local cafes is a separate kind of delight. To watch how the village wakes up, how a new day begins, sip an aromatic coffee or fresh juice. Another interesting place located just opposite the coast of the Alunda Resort is the Caledon Island. You can drive to this island by car along a small channel between Alunda and the island, right along its rocky coast on the right side. We should mention, the road is rather narrow there, and it is not easy for two cars to drive towards each other. It seems especially extreme from the side of the cliff of the island. You can drive up to the church of Arias Lucas on the island, enjoy the picturesque view. Leave your car near the church in the parking lot. and walk to the small shallow sandy Kolakita beach, with a blue sea and beautiful sunset views. Alunda is also the closest village to the once existing leper colony on Spinalonga Island, which is 15 minutes drive by speedboat from Alunda. The name Spinalonga is Venetian and means lone thorn. In 1579, the Venetians built a powerful fortress on the island, partly on the ruins of the old Acropolis. They kept the island under control even after the rest of Crete fell to the Ottoman Empire in 1669 and held the island for another 46 years. Only in 1715 the Ottomans took control of it. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Greeks having fear that the Turks would take away from them the strategically important island of Spinalonga, arranged a refuge for the lepers on it. Nobody wanted to get the terrible disease so nobody invaded the island ever since. By the middle of the 20th century, it became clear that this disease was curable, the patients were sent for treatment and the refuge was closed. This island is now one of the largest tourist attractions in the region. It is very easy to get to the Spinalonga Island from Plaka, Elunda and Ayas Nikolaos resorts. The small fishing village of Plaka, located just opposite the island of Spinalonga, only 3 km from the main square in Alunda. Plaka is a beautiful village, where you should come in the evening for a walk along the seaside, along the colorful taverns and souvenir stores.
excursion boats from Elunda and Plaka leave every day to the island of Spinalonga. Ayos Nikolaos is a town at the seaside located just 10 kilometers from Elunda. This town arose on the shores of the Stan in Mirabello Bay in the 13th century thanks to the Venetians. It is a lovely picturesque town for an evening walk. This town is attractive for the picturesque Willismani Lake, located in the very center. The lake is connected to the sea by a small channel with a bridge. There are also several locations here, which remind of the ancient Greek mythology presence in the history of this town. We will tell you more about them in a separate video. Buses run between Elunda, Plaka and Ayas Nikolaos all day long. Nassos Palace is one of the main landmarks on Crete. Located 70 km from Elunda and only 6 km from the capital city of the island Heraklion. A visit to this palace can be combined with a walk around Heraklion city, and we did it. This palace was one of the Minoan civilization centers on Crete, the first European civilization. It was a very progressive palace. A lot of engineering and architectural solutions were implemented here for the first time. And exactly here, the mythological phrases like Labyrinth of the Minotaur and the Thread of Ariadne came from. Heraklion is the capital city of Crete, which has a rich history. The city is located 70 km from Elunda. The first thing that impresses in the city is the solid Heraklion fortress in the Venetian harbor. Many states wanted to conquer the strait and strategic port city, but the influence of the Venetian Republic rule is noticeable most of all. You can see it in the architecture of the city everywhere. Dicti Cave is the place where Zeus, the most powerful of the Olympian gods of ancient Greek mythology, was born. The cave is located 60 km from Elunda in the Lesiti Valley on the top of the mountain, at height of 1024 meters.
there is a small underground lake deep in the cave. A bizarre kingdom of stalactites and stalagmites is everywhere. Zeus Cave is one of the most famous locations on Crete that is worth seeing. Vai Palm Beach is the largest wild palm forest in Europe. It is located 100 km from Elunda. Vai Palm Beach is the most exotic beach we've ever visited. A great place for a romantic photo session. There is a viewpoint on the hill nearby with an incredible view of the unusual beach. And now, here are the promised top 6 interesting facts about Crete. The first fact. Crete is the largest island in Greece. There are more than 1,400 of them. The second fact. The remains of the Minoan culture, the oldest European civilization that flourished in Crete thousands of years BC, are located exactly here. The third fact. Fully functional central heating, just like in modern houses today, was implemented in the ancient Greek palaces, once built in Crete about 7,000 years ago. The first fact. The famous and very popular soft cheese feta originates here, on Crete. The fifth fact. There are no dangerous animals in Crete. According to the ancient Greek mythology, Hercules executed all dangerous animals in honor of his father Zeus. The sixth fact. The name of the island comes from the name of the tribe of the Cretans who once lived there. More details about the best locations on Crete you can find on our website worldwithatwiz.com, link in the description below. Don't forget to click the thumb button, comment, share the video if you like it, and subscribe to our channel if you want to get such informative short overviews about the most interesting places of our planet. World with a Twist. Let's discover the world together!